Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to create habits. So if you'd like to know my method for creating habits, then just keep on watching. So I guess the first step in creating long-lasting habits would be to figure out why. Think about the reasons why you want to start the habit. Is it going to make you a better person? Is it going to make you more productive? Get really real with the reason why you want to achieve it and how it's going to make you better. So for simplicity's sake, I'm going to use the example of the gym. So when you're thinking about um, kind of forming a gym routine or you want to get more physically active think about not only why but really make it purposeful if you're just working out to want to look better and that's it it's probably not gonna it's not gonna be sustainable as soon as you don't see results happening right away you're gonna get discouraged and you're gonna stop but if your reason why is because you want to live a healthier lifestyle and it will help your mental health that is a deeper reason that's gonna make the habit more sustainable the next step is to start small and don't set yourself crazy expectations. So when we set unrealistic expectations, it basically... <coughs> when we set unrealistic expectations, we normally don't stick with the habit. Because our bodies are so used to functioning the way they do, when you're when you're basically changing your routine to create this new habit, you're kind of doing something that your body's not used to. So it takes time for it to adjust and adapt. So if you've done like light physical activity, like going for walks, light weights, that sort of thing, and then all of a sudden you jump into wanting to work out every day of the week and you know, lifting heavier weights, your body's gonna kind of go into shock and it's gonna shut down. So instead, start small and work your way up to that. So when I started my fitness routine, I started myself at three times a week. So that was the minimum I wanted to work out. Then obviously if I wanted to work out more, I did. But my main goal was to get up to five times a week and then rest on the weekends. I started myself out with three to kind of um, get that nailed down and then I would add a day once I felt comfortable with three times a week. So you can have one main goal, but you can have smaller goals to help you achieve that bigger goal. It's also remembering that habits take time too, so be patient with yourself and you know, just do the best you can. So the next step, once you've established your main goal and kind of broke it up in steps, um, is to basically track it. So when I was setting up my gym routine and I set myself to go for three times a week, I tracked that. And I tracked it so I could stay accountable for what I actually wanted to achieve and it was a constant reminder every day of what my goal was. Find a way really to make it create discipline for yourself. So I know for me, just checking something off or coloring in a box just is, <laughs> just fills me up. I love when I get to check off something in my agenda or highlight something. So um, tracking it that way definitely kept me accountable. But find a way that will work for you to track it so you can stay accountable. Number four is make it something to look forward to. Try to make it fun and enjoyable because that's what's going to motivate you to keep doing it. Using the gym example again, find a workout, a class, an activity that you really enjoy doing and set that as your workout routine or workout activity that you do. I know for me personally when I started doing yoga and fitness classes that those are what kept me going to the gym. For me personally I have found workouts that I absolutely love and it has made uh, working out so much easier for me because I'm actually enjoying it. So I love doing yoga, fitness classes, and strength training. So I really found that finding activities I like doing has really helped me attain the fitness goals I've set for myself and maintain that routine. So if you try to establish too many habits at a time, they won't get the attention that they need 
and you're gonna find yourself slacking. Instead, pick one or two habits that you want to achieve that are most important to you right now. Once you start to get the hang of those and that starts to become almost automatic, then go back and see what habits you want to start next. This is going to give you the time to give these habits enough attention so they actually last. Number six is anchor your new habit to an established habit. Now I don't know if this will work for every single habit, uh, but if you can anchor the new habit to an established habit, it's going to make it that much easier to do consistently. So for example, if you're naturally an early riser, try to do your workout in the morning, even if it's 20 to 30 minutes. So if the habit you want to start is working out consistently uh, and you are normally an early riser, try to work out in the morning before you have to get ready. So even if it's something super short, like 20 or 30 minutes, you are still achieving your goal. So if you do that every day before you get ready, you're gonna establish that routine and that habit's gonna become an automatic response. Number seven is my favorite because I really feel like we don't do it enough, but it's reward yourself. Even if you are not uh, where you wanna be yet, you know, celebrate the small wins. But you can't forget to reward yourself, even if it's for something small. And I don't mean like every day after you work out to have a big bag of cookies. <laughs> Just acknowledge that you did something that's gonna help you become better in the future. Even if you are not near where you want to be, you need to acknowledge the process as well as the destination. Treat yourself to a full day of self-care or even just a rest day where you just get to do whatever you want that day. I read a little um, summary about the book Atomic Habit by James Clear. Yeah, Atomic Habits um, by James Clear. And I just read a small section that was in an article about it. So actually reading this article made me purchase the book. So I'm really excited to read it. But I kind of like um, the small part that I read that he talked about um, how to create habits. And Something that really stuck with me, he basically says to make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, and make it satisfying. So those are the four, and I think that is really true. It can be hard to establish habits, and what people need to realize that is that they do take time. But if we make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, <laughs> and make it satisfying, it's gonna be that much easier to create. And that is all on how to create long-lasting habits. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would love it if you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you all in my next video.